Lamas, priest of Brahm, who was a friend of Jesus when he was in the temple of Jagannath, had heard of Jesus and his mighty works in many lands, and he had left his home and come to Palestine in search of him. And as he journeyed towards Jerusalem he heard of John, the harbinger, who was esteemed a prophet of the living God. Lamas found the harbinger at Salem Springs, for many days he was a silent listener to the pungent truths he taught. And he was present when the Pharisee told John of Jesus and his mighty works. He heard the answer of the harbinger, heard him bless the name of Jesus, whom he called the Christ. And then he, Lamas, spoke to John, he said, Pray tell me more about this Jesus whom you call the Christ. And John replied, This Jesus is the love of God made manifest. Lo, look, men are living on the lower plains, the plains of greed and selfishness, for self they fight, they conquer with the sword. In every land the strong enslave and kill the weak, all kingdoms rise by force of arms, for force is king. This Jesus comes to overthrow this iron rule of force, and seat love on the throne of power. And Jesus fears no man, he preaches boldly in the courts of kings, and everywhere, that victories won by force of arms are crimes. That every worthy end may be attained by gentleness and love just as the Prince of Peace, Melchizedek, the Priest of God, won gallant victories in war without the shedding of a drop of blood. You ask where are the temples of the Christ, he ministers at shrines not made with hands, his temples are the hearts of holy men who are prepared to see the king. The groves of nature are his synagogues, his forum is the world. He has no priests dressed up in puppet style to be admired by men, for every son of man is priest of love. When man has purified his heart by faith, he needs no middle man to intercede. He is on friendly terms with God, is not afraid of him, and he is able, and is bold enough, to lay his body on the altar of the Lord. Thus every man is priest, and is himself a living sacrifice. You need not seek the Christ, for when your heart is purified the Christ will come, and will abide with you forevermore. And then Lamas journeyed on, he came to Jesus as he taught beside the ford. And Jesus said, Behold the star of India. Lama said, Behold the son of righteousness, and he confessed his faith in Christ, and followed him.